Since 1970, Celebrity Society has been a highly exclusive luxury lifestyle magazine focusing on the philanthropic community, dedicating its editorial content solely to promoting and encouraging the great deeds carried out by the who's who of Hollywood. Muriel Akai, a well-known host and writer, headed to Beverly Hills to interview Celebrity Society's editor, Miriam McCarvey, or as she's known to her friends, Just Mimi. I know the magazine has a very rich history, so tell us about that. Well, Celebrity Society originally started in 1970. Mm -hmm. It was called Happy Times at the time. Mm -hmm. um, it was started by Ed and Chevy Foster, our publishers and founders, and they started this publication truly as a platform to celebrate the spirit of philanthropy in our community. Um, originally it was in Palm Springs, Beverly Hills, and Montecito, and through the years, um, the following we've had has been tremendous and with the platform of celebrating philanthropy it grew into all about the pictures of the people, mm -hmm. of all the honorees of the different charity events, bringing awareness to different causes and within a few years the magazine's name even evolved to Celebrity Pictorial. It's been around for 40 years, how did you get involved? Well, it's been around 40 years, yes, and it truly is an honor to be a part of such a huge legacy. Mm -hmm. um, actually, myself, I, I was at a charity event about nine years ago, the mm -hmm. Thalians, which is hu huge here in Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. um, and I was attending the event, and I remember with the friend I was attending, our picture was taken, and I was so curious to see where it would end up, and they said it's part of this very high society philanthropic magazine. And sure enough, a few years later, I met the new publishers, and um, here I am today running this publication, which is truly a gift for me. How does that feel like to be the editor at a, such a young age of a such established and rich history uh, magazine? Well, you know, it, I, one word, it's an honor. What are your hopes and dreams of the magazine? What I would love to do is really carry this on for another 40 years, for another 100 years, because philanthropy is something that is timeless, it's ageless, it's, it's, there is, there's never a time that you cannot do philanthropy. I mean, being a part of helping another human being in any shape and form is philanthropy. What are some of the exciting interviews that you've done at the magazine? Which one uh, was the most memorable to you? Oh, that's a tough question. Um, well, I have I have been blessed to have get, gone some of the most incredible celebrities uh, to yes. interview. Mm -hmm. um, but I have to say, the one that was the most memorable for me um, was um, interviewing Fred Heyman, who wow. is truly the father of Beverly Hills. Talk us through some of the archives here. Well. As you can see up here, and we have some actual hard copies here, through the years we've had some incredible, incredible Hollywood icons yes, um, who've graced our covers. And this mm -hmm. is an issue from 1973. You got Liza yes, Minnelli. Yes, exactly. Oh uh, my And this God. was one of the originals, from, which mm -hmm. was called Happy Times. And as you could see, it was a very simple This is one of the oldest ones. And something I would love to share now that we're showing the archives. This magazine has been such an integral part of the community that even the subscribers have kept every issue since day one, which is really, really wow. incredible for us to hear, especially it as is. an editor of a publication with such a rich history. I know you have an amazing latest issue coming. Uh, tell us about that a little. Well, after 40 years, um, we've decided not, you know, through the years we've had some revamps and exactly. changed the logo, the design, but um, I really felt that it was time to completely revamp the design and the logo and even the editorial contents by adding to it. You know, we've, mm -hmm. um, we've always tried to strive with excellence and provide our subscribers, our advertisers, our readership with what they're looking for. And of mm -hmm. course, we want to show the next generation of wonderful philanthropists in our community. This year, Celebrity Society Magazine celebrates 40 years of working in and for the community. For more information on how to subscribe, check out the Celebrity Society website. You can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter.